morning. Mm -hmm. I first saw you in an image, lively and still. Your big lips pursed in permanent and amused au revoir. It's unimaginable that you ever didn't look smiling over your shoulder. Your impression was always given of one childlike and wise. Seeing you is comforting and stirring all at once. Home feeling. I know this place, this woman. But she might be different from the last projection. The deception of mirrors. My animal woman. But this, you, were no secret. Woman love, teasing and ever out of reach. I loved you desperately as a vision of myself I'd never be. And even though I never met you, a thought of you emerges every day. Somehow I dreamed of your eyes, they were like mine. I heard that the people in our dreams are projections of ourselves and I wondered which of me you were. And when you sent me your poetry, words of insight and restraint, mine sensitive and pained felt so different and it shocked me. The realization of difference was relieving. I was not in your shadow and I loved you more. And when I heard of your death, it was strange to have felt so much and little of you. Grief didn't strike me hard when I first read of your overdose, but nothing shakes this weight off now. I am haunted with my hyper-awareness of you as I watch others scoop out pieces of your dried heart and prize them, immortalizing false synecdoches. So it's hard and fascinating to read about you in the magazine in someone else's voice. I knew that no one knew you. I knew that you liked the wanting to be known. You liked to be wanted. You didn't want to be known. All I had was undeniable familiarity for you and vivid dreams of you crying on my shoulder. Mighty that sense of knowing, of undeniable kinship. To reach out is our biggest challenge in that it presents so many more in sheer act of needing other, wanting more from ourselves. Never the feeling of giving enough, even while giving much, is so easy for us. It is natural to do so, and our much is impressively huge, often mistaken for giving all. You might have done it. That might have been the last and only all you gave. What we both yearned for might be solidly alone in one action, one big, pulsing, warm heart shared with totality and no expectation of return. So that was really long. <laughs>